what's up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to another interesting video today we'll learn how to make this beautiful top and we're going to be making it with two different colors of fabric if you're new to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell on this channel i upload sewing tutorials and diy videos every week to my returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos if you would like to request any video send me a message through any of my social media platforms you could send me an email and i'll be happy to respond as quickly as i can i offer one-to-one -one sewing lessons i can do face-to-face -face or online contact me if you're interested in any of those so without further ado let's begin <music> materials one meter of the yellow and one meter of the orange creep we also need our bodice pattern the link to the drafting of this pattern will be in the description of this video you can refer to that after watching today's video and i also need my plain sheet of pattern papers to transfer my bodice and these are the basic tools we'll be using for the project and this is for the front pattern i transfer that but i made my full length 27 inches for this top okay that's the only difference so now we need to modify the neckline because we want to make it um, a different kind of neckline from what i have on my body's pattern so i'm going to work with 3.5 depth and the weight will be 4.5 then we'll connect that then next we're going to create the side that and to do that, we'll measure our bust span, which is 4.5 inches. You divide your bust span into two. So the bust span is 9 inches. When you divide that into two, you we'll get 4.5. And that's what I'm putting on each of these points. When you've done that, you link that up with a straight line. Then we'll go ahead to create our side darts. And that will be 2 inches from your bust line. Then we'll connect that to the apex. Then we'll have to replace our two inches from the side. So we'll replace that on the bottom of our pattern. Now we'll go ahead and cut our front pattern. So for the back, we'll also transfer our body's pattern. So the pattern paper is actually on fold. So that we we'll have the pattern on both sides okay then we'll modify our armhole as well modify the shoulder line by one inch just the same way we did to the back and link that up to the initial armhole then we we'll impute our neckline as well we we'll say we're working with 4.5 inch width and the depth for the back will work with two inches the back pattern is going to be longer than the front one so instead of working with the 27 inches we did for the front we're going to make this we're going to make this up to 32 inches okay so we'll just add we'll just add an extra five inches to what it was you could add more if you wish it depends on the length you want your back to be just modify it to suit your preference this is the bust line and this is the waistline so this is our hip line and this will be the full length so we'll transfer the pattern to the other side of the fold using the tracing wheel so that we'll have it on both sides of the back pattern measure 1.5 inch or one and quarter inch towards the armhole okay so when you mark that then you're going to connect that straight with a curve you curve it into the armhole 
next to extend our bust span line all the way to the bottom so what we need to do next now is to mark a straight line from the edge of our armhole that's from the start point where the shoulder line and the armhole line meet at the point at that edge we measure from there all the way to the bust span line we extended to the bottom so next we connect from that point to our actual hip line so that's it now we need to add half inch seam allowance and this is optional you can leave it when cutting on fabric you add your seam allowance all around okay so just straight away we have to cut the pattern now We're going to cut two of these and we're going to cut it in opposite direction. So if you're using a uh, same fabric, you don't have to cut through at the middle. You just fold your fabric and just place it and cut. But just because I'm using two different fabrics, that's why I've decided to place two of them like that and cut. So if you're cutting with two different fabrics, just add your half inch seam allowance at the middle. This side that is optional, okay? If you don't want that to look the way it is, you can cut through this side that and leave your pattern to fall normally which implies that you're going to now sew in your side that when you've cut your fabric so choose uh, the one you prefer if you like it free at the bottom then you need to use the side that but if you don't want it free at the bottom you close your that then you cut your fabric normally when you finish you just sew on your side that <music> in bias form so that we we'll use that to hem our dress at the same time to turn up the armhole and the neckline they should be about 1.5 inch now for the sewing we need to sew up the front seam that's if you use two different fabrics if not it should be on fold and it should be okay you spread it out then you're going to sew the shoulders <music> And I've gone ahead to sew the shoulders as well. So now what we need to do is to align and make the side seam. Then after that, you're going to use your bias binding, okay? Turn the neckline with your bias binding, turn the armhole, and turn the bottom. Okay? So just take the bias binding round the whole top. Just sew all the parts of the top with your bias binding. Then on the neckline, I left this off so I'll show you how to finish off the neckline. The neckline will actually be the last place you will uh, add your bias binding on. And when you get there, on the back, you're going to sew the bias binding across the two 
back patterns okay so you start from here and when you get there you're going to now just make sure you relax your top nicely then sew it across the back opening okay so you cross it to that side then um you now close up your bias binding all around okay so that's how it's going to look like when you sew it then you turn it around and close it up so that you have this strip running across that point and that will hold your top in place so that's just the last part to finish off now and once that's done i'll show you what the top looks like don't forget to give it a good press and overlock all the raw edges so it doesn't fray thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate your time kindly subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already and turn on the notification bell on this channel i post sewing tutorials and diy videos every week like this video if it was interesting drop me a comment if you want to request a video and i'll be happy to bring it to you next time share this video with your friends and i'll see you in my next video bye